come to your practice today in a nice seated pose. Starting off in easy pose, have one leg in front of the other. And try to have the leg or the foot closest to your body, touching some part of your body, trying to create a connection here. Place your hands on your knees, sit up nice and tall, create a nice strong spine. And you can close your eyes or find a spot to focus a soft gaze. Take a full inhale in through the nose. Sigh it out as you exhale. Inhale in through the nose. Sigh it out. One more full inhale in. And sigh it out. As you continue with the next few cycles of breath at the pace and rate that works for you, imagine when you inhale that, that you're calling in energy into your heart space. And as you exhale, you're sending it out. And as you inhale, you call it in. And as you exhale, you send it out. Notice if changing the perception of energy affects or changes how your body's moving as it's breathing. It's okay if in this practice you're a beat ahead or behind me, but I want you to take in a full inhale, calling in all the energy you need. But then this time as you exhale, send the energy down through your sit bones and into the earth. And then notice how your body breathes and moves with each inhale and exhale. With the hands on the knees, use your next inhale to bring the chest forward and look on up into a seated cow pose. And then as you exhale, find a seated cat tucking chin into chest, belly buttons into the spine and rounding the back. Cat as you inhale. And cow as you exhale, knowing that you can go at the pace of your breath.
And then finish whatever cycle you're on and find yourself in a seated pose, grounded down, crown the head reaches up. Beautiful, reach your arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers and press your palms forward and have your thumbs down. And then take your palms behind your back, back of the head and cradle the back of your skull and let the thumbs rest at the base of the skull. There's a nice little divot there that you can rest your thumbs in just on the outside of the spinal cord. If you're pregnant, don't press in too deeply here. Okay. Bring your elbows out. Make sure your shoulders are sliding down and away from the ears that you're not forcing the shoulders up to reach. As you inhale, look on up. And as you exhale, bring the chin into chest. Be careful here. Stay here if this is good for you. You should feel a gentle stretch in the back of the neck. If you would like, you can let gravity help you and slowly start bringing the elbows in together. Keep this gentle, keep this light. And if you want, if you want to give yourself a little self-love where your thumbs are touching, you can make circular motions or you can hang out in stillness. Take a few cycles of breath here, noticing how this is creating beautiful forward flexion in the neck and elongating the muscles of the spine. And then complete whatever cycle breath you are on. Root down through your sit bones. And then as you inhale, slowly look up. Take the elbows out to the side, nose up to the sky. Try to keep a nice straight spine. Slide the shoulder blades down and away from the ears. And then bring the head to neutral. Arms are still out to the side. Bring the arms out to a T. And then set your left hand behind your back, right hand on left knee. Sit up nice and tall here. Create nice long length in the spine. And then when you're ready, slowly rotate over to the left side, using your stomach to guide you in your twist. And then when you feel like you can twist no more, find some stability, and then see if you can rotate in the neck taking the gaze out over the left shoulder. And when you think you cannot rotate anymore in the neck, take the eyes over to the left side. But be gentle, keep the shoulder sliding down and away from the ears, both left and right. Beautiful. Use your next exhale to slowly come back into center. Bring the arms up overhead. Look up at the fingertips. And then gaze is neutral. Arms are out to a T. Reach the fingertips away from each other. And then set the right hand down behind you. Left hand on right knee. Come up nice and tall first. Create length in the spine and then slowly start twisting over to the right side. And when you can twist as deep as possible, then flirt around with rotating the neck. And once the rotation has taken you as deep as you can go, maybe you take the gaze over to the right side. Being mindful that you're rooting down through the sit bones and the hands and that you're keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears, creating space here. One 
one more breath. Use your exhale to slowly come back into center. Reach your arms up overhead. Beautiful. And then float your hands down to the ground. Have them connect with the earth. Right hand roots down. Reach the left arm up. And then over to the right side. So now you're getting a beautiful stretch in the left side body. Play around here. Find what you need. So you can bend the left elbow. Keep the left palm down or rotate it up. Extend the arm. In your practice, always feel free to find some movement. Explore, get curious. And then use your inhale to re reach the left arm up, set the left palm down, reach the right arm up high to the sky, and then over towards the left side. Once again, play around here. You're not judging anything, you're just assessing. You notice, oh, that feels good. Oh, I'll have to be careful. Beautiful, and then bring the right hand down. Awesome. Slowly make your way into a tabletop pose. And then tuck uh, under your toes and lift the legs, knees, and come into a plank pose. So hands are underneath the shoulders, toes are planted, push out through the heels, crown the head reaches forward, tailbone reaches back. Staying here for a few cycles of breath, always knowing you can drop your knees if you need to. Belly button is into the spine. Two more breaths. And then drop the knees, lower the chin, bend the chest onto the mat and untuck the toes. Hands are still underneath the shoulders, lift the chin, lift the chest for a baby cobra pose. Tops of the feet are touching the mat, glutes are relaxed, shoulders slide down and away from the ears. Push the mat um, down with your hands and maybe even forward a little bit, keeping everything rooted. So open up the heart. One more breath. And then as you exhale, lower down slowly. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. The first downward dog of our practice will stay here for 10 cycles of breath. So if you need to find movement, I want you to explore that now. If you feel like you need to slide between plank and downward dog, here's the time. If you need to pedal the legs, or maybe focus on bending the knees, lifting the heels. Five more breaths. Two more breaths. Last breath. Reach your right leg high to the sky, three legged downward dog, and bend the right knee, taking the right heel over to the left side, opening up the hip. And then right leg comes high to the sky. Step your right foot through to your hands, high runner's lunge. Plant the right foot, plant the left toes, Press out through the left heel and look forward. Beautiful. Take a nice full inhale. And then as you exhale, sink into your lunge and look forward. Give yourself a nice cow back. And then straighten the right leg, nose to knee for a cat back. And I have to apologize, I told you this wrong. So when you inhale, drop the belly, look on up for your cow back, find your lunge, and then when you exhale, 
straighten the leg nose to knee at back and flow back and forth here at the pace of your breath maintaining the foundation in the And then complete whatever cycle you're on and meet in your high runner's lunge. Beautiful. Step your right foot back to meet left plank pose. Drop your knees. Lower the chin and then the chest down to the mat. And then when you inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. We'll be here for three breaths. And then reach your left leg high to the sky and bend your left knee, taking the left foot over to the right side opening up the hips. And then left leg, three-legged downward dog. Step your right left foot through your hands, high runner's lunge. Take a full cycle of breath here, create a foundation and a support. Let's not rush into the next thing. And then when your inhale happens, Sink into your low or into your lunge. Give yourself a nice cow back. And then as you exhale, bring the nose to the knee, cat back. Flow here at the pace of your breath. And then complete whatever cycle of breath you're on. Meet in your high runner's lunge. And then half left foot meet right plank pose. Drop the knees, lower the chin, the chest onto the mat. Inhale, cobra, maybe you come up a little higher. Exhale, lower plank pose as you inhale. Downward dog as you exhale for three breaths. Beautiful. Lift your right leg high to the sky. Bring your right knee to nose, round the back. Right leg is high to the sky. Right knee to the left elbow, so you're coming across body. Right leg is high to the sky. Right knee to right elbow, shift forward. Right leg high to the sky. And then bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand here. Awesome. Drop your left knee and then make a choice to untuck the left toes or not. And then place your right hand to the inside of your right thigh and come onto the pinky edge of the right foot. Staying here for a few cycles of breath, being mindful that you're not dumping onto the left hand. If you find yourself dumping, maybe tucking on your toes and giving yourself a little stability. It's beneficial. And then if you haven't already, tuck the left toes, bend the left knee, take the left foot up to the sky and reach your right foot back for a corkscrew pose. Some of us may not be able to reach, so just the act of, or some of us may not be able to touch the foot. So just reaching back gives you that beautiful opening. And you can take your gaze over the right shoulder or keep it to the side. Two more breaths here. And 
and then slowly release. Bring your right hand back onto the mat. Set your right foot totally onto the mat. Tuck under left toes. Send your right leg back, three-legged downward dog. And then your downward dog. Shift forward, plank pose. Drop the knees, lower the chin, the chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Plank. Downward dog. Three breaths here. Beautiful. Lift your left leg high to the sky. Left knee to nose around the back. Left leg is high to the sky. Left knee, right elbow. Left leg high to the sky. Left knee, left elbow. Three legged downward dog. Left leg is high to the sky. And then step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Have a foundation here and then gently set your right knee down. Look forward. And then bring the left hand to the inside of the left thigh. Come on the pinky edge of the left foot. Staying here for a few cycles of breath. And then slowly tuck under the right toes, bend the right knee and bring the right heel to the glute, reach the left arm back. In your corkscrew pose, focusing on your breath. Two more breaths here. And then slowly lower the right foot down, left foot to the inside of the left, left hand to the inside of the left foot, tuck under right toes, send left foot high to the sky behind you, and then in downward dog. Shift forward, plank pose. Lower the knees, the chest, the chin, the chin, the chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Two more breaths here. Awesome. Reach your right leg high to the sky. Step your right foot through to your hands, high runner's lunge, and then set your left heel down and set your footing up for a warrior one. Once you have your foundation in your feet, reach the arms up, warrior one. Root down through the right foot, push down through the outside of the left foot. Reach the fingertips nice and tall. And then bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, bring your fists down, look on up. And then as you exhale, slowly start folding forward. Maybe you rest the torso on the right thigh or bring the right shoulder into the right knee for a humble warrior. Don't let the shoulders creep up to the ears. Two more breaths. And then as you inhale, bring yourself back up um, with your fist behind you. Lift your arms up high to the sky, warrior one. And then open up to your warrior two. Arms come out to a T. Torso is opening to the left side. Bend is strong in the right knee. Beautiful. And then turn your gaze towards the left side of your mat. Bring your arms out to a T. From here, bring your right elbow in front of you. Bend the hand. And then bring the left arm underneath in an eagle arm pose. 
Bring the elbows up at shoulder height. Inhale, look up. And then as you exhale, slowly start folding forward. So you have warrior two legs and eagle arms, and now you're doing a nice forward fold. So you should feel the scapula is drawing down and away from the back of the skull. Dropping the head. Feel the shoulder blades come away from the spine. Two more breaths here. And then as you inhale, slowly bring yourself up. Open up to your warrior two. Find yourself coming into your warrior one. Rotate the torso forward. Bend still strong in the right knee. Frame the right foot with both hands. Step your right foot back, downward dog. Shift forward, plank pose, staying here for a full cycle of breath. And then lower the knees, the chin, the chest. Come up into a cobra pose. Lower down, push up, plank pose. And then downward dog for three breaths. Two more breaths. Last breath. Reach your left leg high to the sky. Bring your left foot through to your hands. High runner's lunge. Set your right foot up for a warrior one. Once you have your foundation in your feet, use your inhale to bring your arms up. Focus on drawing the scapulas down and away from the ears. Maybe bring the pinkies in. Root down. Press your feet into the ground as you reach the crown of the head up. Then bring your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Make a fist and look on up. And then find your humble warrior. And if resting the torso on the left thigh is good, stay there. Or bring the left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. This can come up into the air as far as you need to, or it can rest at the low back. Two more breaths. And then use your inhale to come back up. Reach your arms up, warrior one. Open up now to warrior two. Make sure the torso is opening up to the right side. Arms are out to a T. Looking out over the left fingertips. Beautiful. And then bring yourself facing the right side of your mat. Find your eagle arm, this time with the left arm on the bottom. That's a lot. The right arm's on the bottom. Cool. Keep the shoulders sliding down and away from the ears. As you inhale, look on up. And as you exhale, you fold forward. Down the middle of your warrior two legs with your eagle arm. Two more breaths. Stay strong. And then use your inhale to bring yourself up. Exhale into your warrior feet. Inhale, find your warrior one. And exhale, step back into your downward dog. 
Shift forward, plank pose. Drop the knees, the chin, the chest. Inhale into cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Staying here for three breaths. Two breaths. And then drop the knees and find a child's pose. So bringing the big toes together, sending the heel, bum back onto the heels. Come into a child's pose here. Really have the palms rooted onto the mat. Feel yourself push the mat down and imagine that you're pulling it towards you. So it's like you're bringing your humerus bone a little bit closer into the shoulder joint. few more cycles of breath. And then shift forward into tabletop. And then tuck under the toes, lift up the hips, downward dog. Walk the feet to the back of the hands, taking your first forward fold of the practice. Make peace fingers and intersect them between the big toe and the second toe. Lift the big toe and set them on top of your peace fingers. As you exhale, bend deeply. As you inhale, find a halfway lift. So straightening the arms and the legs, dropping the head, and then exhale. Exhale, bend deeply. Inhale, find your version of a halfway lift. And flow here. And then on your next exhale, find yourself in a fold. Lift and remove the hands. Halfway lift with either fingertips on the mat, shin or thigh. Exhale, fold forward. And then rooting down to your feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, come into a chair pose. Just sinking onto the heels. If you want, you can bring the arms forward, the arms up overhead, or bring them together in prayer. Two more breaths. And then as you inhale, lift the heels coming onto the balls. Exhale, reach up and fold forward. Halfway lift, fold, and then reach your arms up high in the sky, full inhale, hands down to the side as you exhale. Beautiful. Place your hands on your hips, and you're going to take an assessment of your foundation here. So root down on your right foot, lift the left knee. Flex the left toes. Make sure you can keep the shoulders dropping down and away from the ears. Bring the heart forward. Cool. All right. Step your right foot in front of you on the ground. And then step it back. And then flow back and forth here. So you can do the toe taps on the ground. Or you can keep the knee elevated and bring the right leg forward or left leg forward. And then left leg back. 
So you're assessing how your balance is as you're moving and you're shifting your balance. You're testing it. And nothing's right, nothing's wrong. You're collecting information. And then find yourself with your left knee to your chest. If you want, you can hug the left knee in, opening up the heart a little bit more. And then mindfully set your left foot down. Reach your arms up as you inhale, exhale into chair pose. As you inhale, lift your heels. As you exhale, reach up, fold forward. Find a halfway lift. Fold forward. Reach your arms up high to the sky as you inhale. Hands on the hips as you exhale. Root down through the left foot. Bring the right knee up to the chest. Same thing here, stepping the right foot forward and back. And making a choice of where you want your leg. Just to collect information, how's your balance? How do you move as you're maintaining your balance? Are you breathing? If you've noticed that your breathing's compromised, take it back off. Beautiful, and then no matter where you're at, meet with the right knee hugged in to the chest. Open the heart. And then set your right foot down, inhale up, exhale, chair pose. Inhale, come up on the balls of the feet, lifting the heels. As you exhale, reach up and fold forward. Halfway lift, fold. Reach your arms up high in the sky as you inhale. And then drop your left hand down. Keep the right arm lifted. I'm going to switch eyes. Right arms lifted high to the sky. Root down through your right foot. And then lift your left foot to your glute. So your left foot is in your left hand. You can press the top of the left foot into the left hand. You're in a dancer pose as it is. So stay here. Make sure you have a solid foundation in your right foot. But if you're ready, you can slowly start leaning forward, leading with the heart, using the left foot to push into the left hand. So you're opening up the shoulders. And then lean forward to your degree coming into a king dancer pose. I'm staying here. If you're in full dancer, king dancer, come back into dancer. Slowly lift your left leg in front of you. Both arms come up overhead. And then set your left foot down. Come into a chair pose. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Reach your arms up, fold forward. Halfway lift, fold. And then reach your arms up high to the sky. And leave your left hand lifted as you bring your right hand down. Root down through the left foot and slowly bring the right foot into the right hand. Push the top of the right foot into the right hand. And then maintain your foundation. Once you have your foundation, if you, you want to start leaning forward, you can. Two more breaths. If you're in king dancer, come into dancer. Cool. Slowly release the right foot and bring the right leg forward as you reach both arms up overhead. 
and then set your right foot down, bring the arms up, come into chair pose. Last chair, I promise. And then come up on the balls, lifting the heels, and then reach up, fold forward. Cool. Find your halfway lift, fold forward, and then set both feet back into downward dog. Reach your right leg high to the sky and bring your right knee through to your hand, setting yourself up for pigeon. So hands are underneath the shoulders, left leg is long behind you, and then make a choice. The right heel can touch the left hip or you can bring the right shin parallel to the top of your mat. If it's truly parallel, that's the deep stretch and anywhere in between is a little more gentle. So you know, listen to your body, find what you need. Come up nice and tall. Let's stay here for a few cycles of breath, really bringing the heart forward, shoulders down. Not too deep of a back bend here, but a little one. And then as you exhale, slowly start walking your hands forward. Coming into a sleeping pigeon pose where you'll be for the next 90 minutes. So if you feel like you need a twist, set your right hand underneath your face and thread your left arm underneath. If you need a twist. And you can return back to the breath we started with. Imagine that you're taking in energy into your heart and sending it back out. This, this time you are pointed towards the earth, so imagine that you're pulling in energy from the earth and sending it back into the earth. Thirty seconds left. Take your last cycle of breath here, sending your energy back into the earth. And then plant your palms underneath your shoulders and then slowly push yourself up. Tuck under the left toes and take your right leg back into your three-legged down dog pose. And bend the right knee, opening up the right hip. Maybe take the right foot over to the left side. Looking under the left armpit. And then set your right foot down. Beautiful. Send your left foot high to the sky. Take your left knee through to your hand, setting yourself up for pigeon pose. Try to keep your footing the same here. Make sure the right leg is directly behind you. Come up nice and tall. And let's just take a minute in this gentle back bend and heart opening, making sure that we're not dumping and rounding in. 
but that our hands are firmly planted, using that to push ourselves up, creating space in the neck, looking forward. And then as you exhale, coming forward into your sleeping pigeon pose. If you want to take a twist, this time set your left hand underneath your face and thread your right arm under. And you'll be here for the next 90 seconds. So enjoy it. Thirty more seconds left. Let this be the last cycle of breath here. Place your hands underneath your shoulders and slowly push yourself up. Tuck under the right toe, send the left leg high to the sky, and then the left knee, stacking the hips on top of each other. Maybe peeking out underneath the right shoulder. And then come into a downward dog pose. Last downward dog, so let's stay here for three full cycles of breath. Maybe with each exhale you sigh out, make it audible. Take a nice full inhale. And as you exhale, walk your feet to the back of your hands. Bend your knees so that the bum touches the mat. And when your bum touches the mat, bring your legs long out in front of you. Move any love that you have so the sit bones are rooted down. Heels are pointed or rooted down into the mat. And then the toes are pointing up. And try to have your second toe in line with the knee. Sometimes it's really easy if we um, evert or invert our feet that sometimes our toes go up, but it's not productive. So try to rotate so the second toe is pointing towards your knee. And then reach your arms up overhead. Fold forward, coming into a seated forward fold here. Once again, Try to bring the humerus bone into the shoulder joint. 
So taking a hold of the toes or the shins even, but that you're reaching the, the arm back. Let your next exhale sigh everything in hope. And then slowly walk yourself up. Feet plant and hug the knees into the chest. Come up nice and tall. Then keeping your feet flat, tuck the chin into chest and slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Hands are down to the side. Maybe bring the scapulas a little closer into the spine. Hug the knees into the chest. And gently rock from side to side. Or maybe place your hands on your knees and give yourself a, a circular motion. In reverse direction. And then keep the right knee hugged in as you extend the left leg long. Left heel roots down, grounds down. Hug the right knee into your chest. Take the right arm out to a T and use your left hand to guide your right knee across body. If you want, you can keep your gaze looking up towards the ceiling or you can slowly rotate looking over the right shoulder, over the right fingertips. Try to keep both shoulder blades rooted down onto the ground. Be mindful that you're not reaching forward. Last breath. And then as you inhale, slowly come back into center. Or hug your right knee into your chest, followed by your left, making a choice if you want to take movement or not. And then keep your left knee hugged in as you extend your right leg long. Right heel touches the mat, hug the left knee into the chest, and then take the left arm out to a T. Use your right hand to bring your left knee across body. Try to keep both shoulders rooted onto the mat. Kind of gauges how deep you can take your twist. And then take the gaze out over the left shoulder, giving yourself a deeper rotation. Two more breaths. And then slowly inhale, come back into center. Hug both knees into the chest. And then adjust so you can feel both shoulder blades touching the mat. The low back is engaged. Bring your arms down to the side as you lift your legs high into the air, coming into legs up against the wall. If you need any support in the low back, you can always lift the hips and stack the hands underneath the low. Try to keep your gaze up. Don't rotate the neck. If you have a true wall at home, you can put your legs up against the wall for support.
Take a nice full inhale. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest. And then extend one leg long. And once the heel touches the mat, extend the other leg long. Reach your arms up overhead. Give yourself a full body stretch. And then bring your arms down to the side, keeping them just a comfortable distance away from the torso. Welcome to your Shavasana, and I will call you back. Mindfully take a nice full inhale in. And with control and slowly exhale out. Take a nice full inhale in. And use your exhale to take you over to your right side in your fetal position. Use your left hand to prop yourself up and come up nice and tall into a seated pose. Hands can rest comfortably on the knees. And then reach your arms up overhead as you inhale, bring them together in prayer. 
And then as you come down to heart center, pause at your third eye as a reminder to have loving thoughts. Pause at your lips as a reminder to have loving words. And then pause at your heart with a soft bow as a reminder to have loving actions towards yourself and towards others. The light and love in me acknowledges and honors the light and love in you. Namaste.